plastics are a frustrating reality when composting food waste. Although we hope there will be a day when food scraps are clean and free of plastics, we may have to wait a while. There's a Canadian company offering hope to smaller communities that are composting food waste. Although our hope was that food waste doesn't contain plastic, it appears that it's up to us as composters to remove the plastic. How can we recycle our organic waste and improve the health of our soil when the compost we produce is full of plastic bits? There are the plastic bits that we see and the plastic bits that we don't see, the microplastics. For most of us composters, we weren't prepared for managing plastic. Many of us were familiar with composting farm waste, yard waste or biosolids. These materials are generally clean. Composting, for the most part, simply meant allowing the material to heat for a period, then screening to make an excellent quality product. We have been playing catch-up with trying to remove plastic that we find after we start composting food scraps. The technology for removing plastic is relatively new. The plastic in compost is troubling, particularly for smaller communities. In British Columbia, Many communities received funding to divert food waste from landfill. The reason for the funding was to reduce greenhouse gas emissions that would otherwise be emitted from the landfill. Our smaller communities are left with piles of nice-looking compost if it weren't for all the plastic in it. The exciting news that there is a Canadian technology being developed for our smaller communities to screen out and remove the plastic bits. Here is an example of the Compost Liberator. It's a smaller scale version of the technology that Boreal Compost sold to Vermeer Manufacturing in the US for larger scale mobile distribution. Some of the same principles of plastic removal are incorporated with a screener into a unit that can be used for smaller communities. The smaller Compost Liberator offers hope for our communities that have implemented food scraps recycling. Smaller communities too can produce a high quality compost. This hope prevents further frustration and wondering whether our compost containing plastic may just need to end up as landfill cover. Yes, all of us need to work at keeping plastic and other non-compostable bits out of our food scraps. We are in this together and we all benefit from the improved soil and environmental health that results from recycling food scraps appropriately. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.